Libra, welcome to your September 2020 He Said, She Said reading. Thanks for joining us. My name is Michelle. My name is Richard. Let's get started with your reading. For your energy, what came out for you from the uh, Victoria Francis Gothic Oracle is this card of confidence. You'll see this woman here. She's got this black cat on her lap. And, uh, the, oh, and there's actually black cats all around her. So there's feelings around this of luck, wisdom, but more than that, I get confidence, confidence in your abilities, confidence with your ability to lead. Now around you is the card of opulence, which is really nice. And this speaks of leadership again. So how you lead, how you lead, issues of leadership. For you, it's about leading with more of a feminine energy, Libra. So I feel like I'm talking to the feminine there. And it speaks to me of someone who uses power in a compassionate, caring way to guide others. Now, around you, though, I feel that there's at least one person, more of the masculine energy, which is power, but it's, it's a power corrupted. So we've got Maximus here. How can you lead, feed others when your own table is empty? So this person feels somewhat empty. I get that this is someone who's trying to take power or take control, perhaps of you, Libra, but it's a very undermining kind of corrupted energy that I'm feeling around them. Now, Richard has also pulled a card from the Lay Vampire Oracle. It's a card of rebellion. You know, what I'm sensing here is that, Libra, I think you might be getting involved in a war. Mm. A war with somebody who wants... You, either you want to change the situation as it stands, create a revolution, which, mm. I, which I'm thinking is really what this card is about, mm -hmm. or it's the other person yeah. who is trying to really push you down. So is it going to be a velvet revolution, or is it going to be a revolution that's, that includes, like, battle? Mm. Let's see. Either side can resonate, Libra, so please keep that in mind. And of course, if you're cross-watching, this could be a Libra that you're dealing with. Bottom of the deck for you, I've got a very nurturing kind of energy, uh, self-care, Queen of Pentacles. Here I've got the Three of Wands. Okay. Before we get started, I just wanted to take a minute of your time to talk about channel memberships. Those are new on my uh, channel, so if you're interested, you can check out the join button or look in the box below for more information. There's a couple of tiers at the moment, I'll be adding more, but the best one at the moment is the $4.99 tier, and with that one you get early access to all of the YouTube readings, including the He Said, She Said's. So about a week or so before, you'll get access to all of those. Not only that, but you'll also get uh, all the signs at once. So no waiting. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get started here, guys. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. You know, the thing is, for you, when we talk about success, it's not a, an overnight success. It's taking time. And I feel that you've been patient. This other energy feels like kind of like taking, you know, it feels like an instant, instant energy. So we'll see where that one goes, but let's take a look. Yeah, I see you as being more of a nurturer, Libra. Yeah. Let's see what we have here. We've got the, uh, the status of the relationship. How do you feel about this person, the strengths, the challenges? Your advice, what to do, what not to do, what's hidden or unexpected, and the potential outcome. Okay, we have status of relationship. How this person views you, Libra. Strengths, weaknesses, what this person should keep doing, what they should stop doing, what's hidden, and the outcome if nothing changes. Okay, Libra, let's take a look. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Well, it's all about lack of stress so where there's feeling where there's feelings of stress around you libra i think that you have to take a step back i'm picking this up as rest not taking on any more extra burdens because i feel like you've already got enough on your plate so the feeling that i'm getting around this is one of quiet uh, taking some time for yourself reading resting meditating whatever that is but certainly not getting involved with whatever this situation is over here. I don't know, maybe it's about making, taking action on the stress. Taking, well taking action on the stress, yes, but that means no action, right? Well, we'll see. Mm. All right, looking over here, status of the relationship. We have the world. Yes, yeah, so somebody wants to close out a cycle. Okay. Uh, want, they want to change, they want to change here. 
it's like world rebellion, isn't mm. it? it? It feels kind of like taking over the world. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting off that. Okay, how you are viewing the other person? Interesting. We've got the Queen of Wands. Well, that is that uh, that world domination energy, isn't it? Mm. It feels very strong. It feels very confident. Now that could be you, Libra. It could be the other person. But there's a there's a standing in your own power here. I feel this is more you, actually, Libra. I'm picking up this kind of confident energy, someone who leads by example. And it's leading by, when we talk about queens versus the more masculine energy, it's more about a receptive energy, someone who leads by showing the way, guiding the way, Le not, not, by, not by dominating or mm. not by telling people what to do. It leads by example, yeah. is what I get over here on your side, Libra. Yeah. This person, though, seems to be very aggressive, mm. especially with this dark emperor energy. I get the sense that this is their energy over here. Yeah. Look at that. Mm. Six of Wands. You know, this person wants victory. Yeah, they want victory over you, Libra. It's like they see someone who's being successful and they want to... They either want to have you because you are successful or they want to kind of control you so that they can exceed you. That, that kind of feeling. Now, the strength here is the Five of Pentacles. Well, that's that feeling of that poverty mindset where you came from i'm getting an energy of here remembering where you came from that'll mean different things for different people but what i get here is it's not it's about not getting too ahead of yourself not getting too big for your britches kind of energy remembering who you've who you were perhaps when you just started out in life remembering the hard times the difficult times how you've struggled how you've gotten through them and how you've gotten to more of this confident energy. So remembering remembering what that's like. Uh, empathy. I'm picking it up as empathy uh, for others. <coughs> Excuse me. I take that Five of Pentacles a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's your ace in the deck, okay. Libra, your ability to leave this behind, okay. your ability to be able to leave someone else in the dust if they're not going to be doing what you need them to do. We'll see where this goes. Mm. Okay, looking over here. Strengths. We have the six of cups in the, in, the, in the reverse. I see that as being immaturity, mm -hmm. a short-sightedness on this side of the reading. Okay. Yeah. Somebody who, who hasn't really grown up. Yeah, you know, I get a very strong energy around this Libran that something's shifted. And for the first time in a long time, there's this energy of confidence, right? And you're ready. You're ready. I feel like uh, you're, you're being looked after by... Uh, it, it feels very spiritual energy that I'm picking up on this side. I do feel that there's a really strong attraction to spirituality. It's very positive. I'm picking up a positive energy. But positive energy attracts sometimes people who can be a little bit envious mm. and want what, want what you have, and that's what I feel. The challenge here is the Wheel of Fortune. Well, isn't that interesting? It, you're kind, this is so weird. I'm picking up this energy around Libra that you're actually doing really well, but somehow that is a challenge. Why? Because it's attracting people to you that maybe you, uh, it's very you know when we're standing in our power when we're looking really good and we're feeling really good about ourselves it's during those times that people come out of the woodwork you know they want a little piece of what you have libra and i feel that that's what's going on here yeah it's like you hear these stories about people who win the lottery yeah and then they all, come out the woodwork. Wood, all these people come out of the woodwork looking for uh, looking for a handout yeah and this is kind of how it is with you i'm not saying you've won the lottery libra but what i am saying is that you're doing well mm. you are you're standing in your power right yeah. now especially with that queen of wands yeah and what that means is that people are attracted to you right now but <laughs> some of them are the wrong kind of people by the looks of things let's take a look over here at weaknesses the death card in reverse yes somebody who um, doesn't want to grow up and doesn't won't won't grow up with this death card in reverse, they're not going to change. Mm, it's very stagnant energy, mm. isn't it? But the problem is, 
they, they see you as being successful, but mm. yet you've done it by hard work. Mm. I don't feel that you've won the lottery. I mean, some of you might have gotten lucky there, a windfall, but I think the majority of you have worked hard for what you have, mm. and it's you, you've earned this position of sitting here um, happy with what you have, you know, this opulent kind of energy, right? Whatever opulence means to you, it's kind of like a, an empress energy that I'm picking up around that leadership. It doesn't have to be material. Uh, yeah. Opulence can be can be anything spiritual mm -hmm. as spiritual. well. Spiritual. Yeah. Spiritual opulence. We can all, we can sit, mm. if we want to, we can sit in spiritual op opulence. Mm. But this person seems to be like wanting a piece of what you have there, a Libra, but, but not but not doing the work that's associated with it. Now, the advice for you, we've got the Eight of Wands. Well, you know, it's how you communicate. Leading by example, right? Mm. So yeah. it feels like positive. Mm. It feels very positive. I think you have to remain in a positive mindset. I, I'm seeing this figure here on the horse and he looks like he's he's crossing he's crossed the river i feel like he's going over to the this hill here where there's uh, several figures standing and it feels like a uh, it feels like going up like i'm seeing these wands are going up so it feels like it feels like launching it feels like you're launching into the stratosphere here libra i get success success for you I was saying earlier that I thought that you might be getting into a bit of a war with somebody. Yeah. And I can't help but wonder with this dark emperor energy, mm. if this person that you're going to war with or people you're going to war with might be inclined to play dirty mm. as well. Mm. With this eight of wands here and the queen of wands, mm. I think that's a call for you to, well, to stay on your level and don't get down in the muck. Absolutely, because I see success for you, and I see you on this trajectory of success. So I don't think whoever this is, I don't think you have to play in their sandbox. Absolutely that is. not, or or um, pigsty. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Yeah, you're right. Oh, look at that! Mm. Queen of Wands is what they should do. Well, it means they should follow your example, Libra. Yeah. Quite simply, mm. you're standing in your power. Now, you're in the right here. You're yeah. in the right. This person here, I see them as being somewhat underhanded and deceitful. Yeah, let's see. What you shouldn't do, page of swords in reverse. Well, that's get it. Play their, their games. Mm. Get involved in underhanded kind of communication, gossip, uh, negative kind of energies. Spying. Spying. I don't think you'd do it anyway, but the thing is, it may not be your energy. It may be getting involved with someone who's doing that to you. That's possible too, but it's still a call for you to remain... Watch your words. Where, yeah, yeah, well, to remain the Queen of Wands. Not, not yeah. The Queen of Wands doesn't get down and do Watch this kind of stuff. You know, this, is, this type of person here will try to maintain their strength or try to use a controlling energy towards you because they can't... They can't step up to your level so what they'll resort to is this kind of pettiness mm. pettiness and i don't think that whatever they're saying there well number one it's it's stupid it's silly it's immature so the thing is pay no mind to that keep that higher trajectory keep that higher vibration and pay no mind to whatever this person is saying i get it as words okay looking over here at what this person should stop doing we have the four of cups in the reverse as what they should stop doing. Mm. What do you get from that, Michelle? Well, it's interesting, you know, the four of cups in the reverse, in this case, I'm picking that up as using, using lower vibrational coping mechanisms. It's kind of, it's kind of like the person who uh, is depressed Mm. but is blaming everyone else mm. and but isn't getting out of their own way they're kind of sitting they're sitting uh, I feel like in a, in a bar or maybe at home it's it's a card of someone who it's the addiction card in its reverse mm. so a lot of times we see it as coming out of that but it's using things to come out of it that is negative right but it's not coping right, with the right. situation in the right way. So mm. I'm seeing that as someone who okay. is potentially has some kind of addiction. All right, negative coping mechanism. It could could be All this right. person is an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. um, they have some kind of drug issue. Mm. Right. 
Okay. That, that's, they, they need to look at you as someone that they need to follow a healthy example. Because I get you as a healthy person. Like I, you're not that energy. So this person needs to look at you and say, okay, well, rather than try to knock that person off their pedestal while I'm kind of floundering here, they need to raise themselves up, but will they? Right. They're being asked to, but mm. I don't know. Let's see what's hidden. Six of Swords, well, that is positive movement. So it may be that this person is starting to see that they need to uh, to get out of, of what they've been doing. They feel very... Uh, I feel that the, the Six is coming from the Five of Swords. So they want to get out of that Five of Swords energy, which is like self-sabotage. This is self-sabotage energy. This is someone who can't get out of their own way. So there's a feeling here of movement. Uh, so it seems like... There is a light at the end of the tunnel for this person, but they're not quite there yet. There's, it's still a long ways off. You'll see at the beginning of the journey. The beginning of the moving away has just started, but it's going to take some time to get over to this uh, island over here, which I feel is going to be peace. I bring them peace. Yeah, with that Six of Swords there, along with the Five of Pentacles next to it, mm. I also see it as a hidden choice for you as well, Libra. Mm -hmm. uh, the ability for you to be able to move on if this person doesn't Absolutely. start to follow your example. Oh, for sure, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at what's hidden here, or the Empress. You see, I see that as being your energy, Libra. Mm -hmm. I think you're the Empress here. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Wands and the Empress, it's an incredibly powerful energy. Libra, you are a force to be reckoned with right now. Mm -hmm. And you need to stand in your power and take full advantage of that. You know, sometimes in our life, we have that power. And it only makes sense to use it when we have it. Because we don't always have that power. Yeah, you know, when we talk about the Empress, it's all about uh, growth. It's, it's, it's fertility, fertility creation. Fertility creation, bringing about new life. Uh, new beginnings. Yeah, not necessarily human lives either. No. We're talking about it could be new life mm. for for you, new mm. life for another person. Right. You know. Now, what's the outcome? Knight of Wands. That's nice energy. Really strong fire element around you at the moment here, Libra. It's taking action with passion. I mean, m motivation. Right. The thing is, you won't. If there's any kind of fear, any kind of uh, doubts in your own mind. This is you saying, mm -mm, no, I'm not going to spend time here. I'm not going to spend time thinking, overthinking, overanalyzing, I'm doing. So Libra, you, I feel that normally Librans are quite uh, mellow when it comes to making choices, Means it could, meaning it could take a little while. But once you make that choice, once you decide, then you, I feel this is a Libran who's decided and they're just, now they're on this trajectory of success and you're following the path. You're following the path that you're meant to be on. Yep. Don't let yourself be pulled off the path by somebody who is jealous of you or is has their own agenda. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the outcome for this person. We got the two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a couple of good ways of looking at it. I mean, you're a Libra. I mean, that's a, that's a card of Libra, in my opinion. It's that Two of Pentacles because it's about balance. It's about finding. It's about finding some sort of balance. Mm -hmm. I see it as being compromised here as well. Mm -hmm. So I think what's going to happen is that uh, Libra, you're correct in the route you're, you're going, and you need to continue on mm -hmm. your route without having any doubts about what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be pulled off the path at all by anybody and whoever it is who's trying to to influence you away from that path mm. they're going to end up having to compromise because of your strength yeah i also get that they need to reprioritize their life put put themselves first perhaps where in the past there has been elements of them not uh, taking care of themselves I get that kind of energy with the four of cups in reverse and they're getting a little bit too down. So it feels to me like how someone deals with change, how someone responds to changes in their life, what they can handle and how they can handle it. Well, the point is that we're better easy, we're better able to handle change when we're feeling healthy, right, Richard, mm -hmm. rather than feeling 
depressed or feeling down in the dumps or, or going through some kind of health issue. So yeah, getting your health. I feel a very strong healthy energy around this, needing to get things balanced, needing to get things healthy. So we'll see where this goes in the extended reading. I hope that you join me there, Libra. The link is down below in the descriptions box and that will be about another 25 to 30 minute reading be clarifying and Richard and I will be doing some Lenormand readings as well as looking at some oracles. If you prefer a personal reading you can email gypsyinsights at gmail.com we're offering a special on the he said she said personals at the moment. Please do click that thumbs up button leave us a comment and if you're a newcomer I'd love to have you as part of the team please do subscribe. Don't forget about the channel memberships as well you can look at the details there click on the join button below and that will give you all the information. If this one doesn't resonate, it's a general reading, it can be vice versa, or you could be looking at a cross what you're reading here for a Libran. If it doesn't resonate, you can check out our Soul for Repair playlist, and there you'll find readings that are done in this style, but they're not sign or time dependent. Wishing you the best with this uh, Libra, you know, it looks pretty good, but I just think you've got a little bit of a ways to go here with this person. Wishing you the best, and we'll talk to you in part two. Thanks, Libra. Goodbye and good luck.